You may have seen us write this script before. Let's just play it. Let's click on there. What's your name? Let's type in Bob. That's a nice name. What is your favourite colour? Type in blue. That's my favourite colour as well. So that works as a script, but there's no interaction going. What we're going to try to do is add just a bit of interaction to it. So we we'll start off with we we'll stick with when clicked ask what's your name, but this time we're going to add something to it because we want the computer or the program to remember the answer. So this time we're still going to use say, so we're going to go into looks and here we have say. Okay, now this time we actually want to put two bits in here. So there's a block called join and this is good for joining either two words or two variables. We'll come to variables later, but it's good for joining two things together. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on here okay so at the moment it doesn't make any sense but we're going to go into sensing and we've got a block here called answer so there it is answer so this time it says say hello answer for two seconds so let's just change it for, to four seconds so we can see exactly what's happening so remember here we've asked a question the user puts an answer in so let's just see what happens so what's your name i'm going to put in my answer which is bob now hopefully the project will remember what my name is so let's click here and it actually says hello Bob so it's almost talking to me I've got one more block to add to our script and it's this what is 10 add 6 and wait I'm just going to put it there and what I want you to do is the challenge is to think about what you want or would expect the program to do when you type your answer in. So what is 10 add 6? Let's just run the code while you're thinking about that. So ask what's your name? We type in Bob. Hello Bob. So it can respond to that. That's good. Then what is your favourite colour? And it's blue. My favourite colour is also good. I'm happy with that. Then what is 10 add 6? So I type in the answer, which is of course 16. And when we click here, nothing happens. So is it right? Is it, is it wrong? So talk to your partner. What would you want the program to respond to that question? And you can have a go at putting some code on there to answer that. Or just think what you want the program to do. That's your challenge. What do you want the computer to do when you answer that question? Good luck.